tour a karate dojo in your in the town of Pocatello, and uh, is there more than just that in that town, or or is there others too? <coughs> There's several, and I think if we do end up taking them, it'll probably be to a dojo like that, with that kind of style. Okay. Um, yeah, there's lots of different ones. There's Taekwondo and Kimpo, and uh, that you know that was a jiu-jitsu place, and I like the jiu-jitsu. So I don't, I'd probably take them to a place like that. Um, okay. That was a small class, and they started school up again, so we might wait till next spring and see what happens. So uh, um, what what are the some of the some of your goals for like what do you want to accomplish with this youtube idea honestly for us now there there was a time there where i was extremely driven and wanted to make a career out of it you know and and make a make a living uh doing youtube and and the more i got caught up in trying to make a career out of youtube and i i started realizing wow i'm making money i've got like six channels that are all partnered and i can get paid with yeah and i was Pretty soon I was like waking up in the morning and I was putting in like 15 hour work days and it wasn't fun anymore. And I was doing these videos that had a massive amount of editing like on my Olensalot channel. But the problem was I was just getting aggravated with it because I was doing all this editing and I was doing all this crazy work. And uh, there'd be some problem with the copyright issue with oh, the song sure, yeah. that I used. Or, and so all that work, I'd put in like two days of work and not get paid for any of it. <clears throat> and it would start blowing up and getting all these views, and I wasn't making any money. So I just thought, you know what? I need to just do what I like to do and not give a crap whether I make a living out of it. It needs to be more uh, something that I do for fun or I'm going to burn out. And oh, sure. So, so I'm doing a lot of video game stuff on a lens a lot now. In fact, pretty much that's all I'm doing is I'm... <laughs> doing video gameplay and, and commentary and joking around and goofing off with that and I love it. I'm, now I'm posting like once or twice a day on my Lot channel. Uh, we got a new camera for our Fam Damley vlogs. It's okay. Kind of higher quality. Oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, we're we're pretty much just doing it for fun and we're we're gonna go where it takes us and um, I don't I'm no, not sure if we're ever gonna move to California. <laughs> or not. I know there's there's yeah. been some just some discussion about that and we've been we've been asked to move to california a couple of times and we're just kind of waiting to see yeah. what happens with uh, a lot of things would have to happen between now and then before we like move to california and try to do it for a full-time yeah deal. i, I you know it would be kind of cool if uh if google just called you up one day and say hey would you like to work for us <laughs> <laughs> because shay right. because you know that shay and katie Lent, i mean and their family they are I mean, successful upon successful, but they've been doing this for a long time. But the fact that they got over a million subscribers and most of the channels that they got, and, and it's just like, I would, I think they're living the dream life that everybody wishes that they could live, is what the thing is. Well, right, yeah. I mean, you, when you look at the vlogs, what you're seeing is, is a guy and his wife and their family, and uh, he doesn't have to, like, have a job yeah. and he basically gets paid to hang out with his family and go do fun stuff. Yep. Um, what you don't see is all of the work and the hours that go into it off camera yeah. to make that possible. And, uh, you know, Shay was one of those fortunate people, you know, he started back early, <clears throat> earlier in the game when there, when there were no daily vloggers, yeah. there was maybe a couple of people. And, and so today there's, you know, there's, thousands tens of thousands of people that are blogging daily and it's if it's easy to not get noticed and and to blow up big and <laughs> and stuff like that but he uh yeah they they got started he had a whole unique thing and a, and a great great personality and a great family and they got uh, a bunch of funding from youtube to start the station and to kick all that off and it just kind of blew up and yeah, he's kind of he's kind of living the the dream, I think, when yeah. it comes to YouTube for sure. So, is, is that something that you like to accomplish too? As far as you know, one day maybe possibly saying this is all I have to do for the rest of my life, you know, to provide for my family and stuff, just make vlogs, just like Shay, or or are you are you going to a different de direction? Um, I you know, I, yeah, that would be something I would love to do, and uh, I think it's it's gotten to a point to where. Um, it's just a, I think it's a matter of time if we just if we just keep going and just keep improving what we're doing and, and making people laugh and, and happy and stuff, uh, then you know it, it may happen. I think that 
uh, is a big part of the dream for sure. But at the same time, we have we have a lot of really great stuff happening outside of YouTube uh, with my wife's work and with my future, uh, with what we've got going locally here, sure. off of, off camera, and our kids and, and stuff like that. So um, I, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like when you're in high school and you've got like three different hot chicks that all like you. And yeah. Like, it's almost a bad thing because you've got too much good stuff going, going on. Well, it's, well, what I what I see of it is like you know, uh, which I've heard a lot of people say is like, they almost seem like that uh, that the fam dabby is almost like a uh, a spinoff of the shaytards pretty much. But you guys, you guys are, are are different in your own style too. That you're not you know you're not just going on big vacations or whatever. But you're you do a lot of stuff in your town and stuff, and you're you're getting to. You get your kids out there to to not just watch TV or whatever, to actually go outside and play and and film it, whatever. And I think that's kind of cool. I, I really I really admire I admire the 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 way that you're going with this. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, I think a lot of people everybody's going to get compared to Shay because he set the standard. Yeah. Uh, and he, you know, even though you don't really copyright or patent things, you know, he was the first guy to like officially say on YouTube, I'm going to grow my beard out and not cut it yeah. for a year. So now anybody that grows a beard that does a daily vlog is going to be told <laughs> their cock in shape. Yeah. Now anybody that wears their hat backwards is yeah. going to be in shape. Yeah. And that's that's cool. And that's that speaks more to his level of success and his presence out there on YouTube is that uh, <clears throat> there's there's things that, that he's done now that everybody does, but you can't do them on video without being told you're – you're copying or being compared to to him, but yeah, um, I I consider that honestly a, a compliment when people say that I'm hey you guys are a spinoff of Shay Tards or you're copying Shay or <coughs> anything like that. To me personally, that's a compliment because he's yeah. the best. That's like if you're in the NBA and somebody says, "Dude, you're trying to play just like Michael Jordan." <laughs> it's like that's not an insult. Dude. Yeah, that's a compliment. Thank you. Well, that's yeah, uh, that's kind of what yeah. I get. Yeah, that's kind of what I get on my channel too, because I, you know, I I have people that have inspired me to continue with doing my own brand of YouTube videos as well. And you know, I always wish that I could be the next Shay Carl or the next Carl Lincelot or or a Cool Dude or whoever. You know, I I, I my my goal is that I I always want to strive for the best, but I'm not. You know, failure is not an option. You know, when it comes to this stuff. I mean, I, I just want I want to draw an audience, but I want them to to take me seriously, but I want them to have fun with me as well. Right. And and so, the last thing question I have for you, since we're almost done with this interview, is uh, do you have any uh, special words for anybody who would be an up and coming YouTuber that uh, not too sure what to do to make a video, or just any tips or any advice you give somebody that wants to do this? Yeah, I do actually. Um, a lot of people are going to give you advice when it comes to uh, growing your stuff on YouTube and, and becoming more noticed on YouTube. Uh, a lot of the big YouTubers all say the same thing. Uh, they say collaborate with people at your same level that you're at. Um, and you've got to post on a regular schedule and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And they all kind of have like this canned response, all the big big YouTubers do it. And maybe that maybe that worked for them. Uh, obviously, I'm not even considered like a huge YouTuber <laughs> where we're at, but we do have a lot of partner channels. And sure. cumulatively, we have a good amount of, of followers and friends online. And uh, <clears throat> I think, honestly, really what matters is your, your quality. And I'm talking about you have to have high-definition quality videos yeah. uh, that, that you upload. Or at least you know high def definition quality sound with what you're doing, uh, and then whether you keep a schedule or not, uh, if you have quality and you've got good editing and and everything fits in the frame correctly when you upload, so that it's easy to watch, because people will get distracted by the tiniest things. You could have an awesome, hilarious skit, but if your video is uh, is only in 480 it's not in 720p, yeah. people aren't going to watch it because they're going to consider you new and a rookie and you don't know what you're doing. So it's worth it to go for the right quality and the best quality um, as far as like your video quality and your editing skills. And then 
you can make yourself, if you're wanting to do comedy or um, anything like that, if you want to do com comedy or even action or drama, learning how to edit in the right type of timing so that the jokes deliver, so that the comedy experience delivers um, is everything. Because you can try to deliver a joke, but if you don't edit it right in yeah. the final product, nobody's going to laugh at the joke and they're not going to get it. <laughs> so learning how to edit and knowing your software to edit is going to give you a huge advantage. And okay. then, I think as far as like, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that's a big track. Tulu oh, my gosh. We, we hear Having cute kids and a good looking Oh, yeah, we hear the sweet lot. sounds of Tulupi Doo. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, so having cute kids and a, and a good looking wife helps a lot okay. too, for, for views. Sure. But, no, I, I think uh, being willing to collaborate with anybody. They'll, you know, the big YouTubers and stuff will tell you uh, collaborate with people your same size yeah. and around that level. But they say that because they don't want to be bothered by a million people sending them collaboration requests and invites. Sure. But I say when you're up and coming and you're trying to get out there, if somebody wants to collaborate with you, go look at their channel. And if they're not doing terrible stuff, then collaborate with them. <clears throat> and the more just making friends and just making people feel like they can be your friend and just be yourself is, is honestly the biggest part. Well, thank you very and, much, uh, sir, Carl, for letting me uh, interview you. My camera's running out of time. That's why I have <laughs> shut this up early. <laughs> yeah, I, no for some reason, my camera can only record like 26 minutes of uh, of uh, content. I don't know why that is, but I got uh, the original flip camera. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, I, got of, so we've got like three or four that we've gone yeah. through by now. So thank you there, <laughs> Carl. And uh, that is my interview with Carl Olenselot. Uh, check them out, youtube.com slash famdamily.